Hey guys, Trisha Letterati here with Keller Williams Realty Group. Thanks for stopping by my channel where I post new videos every Tuesday about all things real estate. Today I'm talking about how to buy a house, step one. Getting pre-approved is the first step to buying a house. Without a pre-approval, you're just wasting time. You're setting yourself up for failure and your agent is setting you up for failure by not having that pre-approval. Going through this process, you have to be educated, most importantly, financially educated. Do you know your credit score? Most people don't, so don't feel bad. But a lender's gonna run your credit and he's gonna tell you what your credit score is. And if your credit is bad, you're not gonna be able to buy a house right now. However, it's gonna arm you with the information that you need to be able to get into a program to help you build your credit so that you can be on the right track for home ownership. So it turns out your credit's great, that's awesome. So the next thing you're gonna do is hand in your W-2s and your pay stubs and the lender's gonna figure out what you can afford. So good news comes back, you can afford a $400,000 house. That's awesome. If you're comfortable with high monthly payments every month for the next 30 years, then let's go shopping, I'm ready. If you're not comfortable with the high monthly payment, then you wanna find out what you are comfortable with. So the lender can run the numbers in the area that you're looking for and figure out a monthly payment that you're comfortable with. Keep in mind, taxes and insurance are gonna increase your monthly payments. A pre-approval is gonna tell you what your closing costs will be. Maybe you can afford the $400,000 loan amount, but not the $80,000 in closing costs. So your lender can help you with some loan programs that'll work for you. And if you can't come up with anything that's gonna work, you might have to put buying a house on the back burner until you save up the extra cash. The truth is, when agents push for a pre-approval, we are not trying to say that we don't think you can afford the house. We want you to have all of the information possible ahead of time before we tar start going out and looking. When you find the one, you don't want to be waiting around to get your pre-approval. Time's valuable when you're submitting an offer, so it's important to have all of your ducks in a row. So that's step one in how to buy a house. Be sure to stop by next Tuesday when I talk about step two. If you think this was helpful, make sure you check out my other videos, including the four big mistakes first-time homebuyers make. I'm Trisha Letterati, and I'll see you next week.